Welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a nostalgic look at the legendary stars of the 70s and 80s. Celebrities who weren't just attractive but captivated us with their charm and talent. Get ready to revisit these icons, though their current looks might surprise you in unexpected ways. Shelley Duvall captivated 1980s cinema with unforgettable roles in Popeye and the hauntingly iconic The Shining, firmly establishing herself as a significant figure in Hollywood. Her unique presence on screen made her a beloved star of that era. However, as time has passed, Duvall's life has undergone significant changes. After stepping away from the limelight in 2002, Duvall chose a life of seclusion in Texas, retreating from public view. In a surprising turn of events, she made headlines in November 2016 when she appeared on The Dr. Phil Show, revealing her ongoing struggles with mental health. Her candid admission after years of silence took many by surprise. Further insight into her life came in a rare 2021 interview, where Duval opened up about the emotional toll of her celebrated roles, particularly the severe distress she experienced during filming, often leading to prolonged periods of tears. Duval's story, though marked by struggle, remains a poignant reflection of the challenges faced by many actors behind the glamour of Hollywood. Bridget Fonda dazzled Hollywood with her undeniable talent and captivating beauty in iconic films like The Godfather Part Three, Single White Female, Point of No Return, and Jackie Brown. From a young age, she showcased her remarkable presence, making her debut at just five years old alongside her father, Peter Fonda, in Easy Rider. Her career flourished, earning her nominations for prestigious awards such as the Golden Globes and Emmys. If you want to make a move back into Hollywood, <laughs> no. is, it, is, there, is there a chance? No. However, after marrying renowned composer Danny Elfman in 2003 and welcoming their son, Oliver, in 2005, Fonda made the bold decision to step away from the spotlight. She chose a private life far from the glamour and scrutiny of Hollywood. In recent years, her rare public appearances have surprised many as she embraced a transformation that defied the expectations of her fans. Yet, there is a beauty in her decision, a graceful acceptance of aging and a refusal to conform to Hollywood's pressures, allowing her to live life on her own terms. This reflection on Fonda's journey captures the essence of a woman who has chosen authenticity and freedom over the fleeting fame of the big screen. If you want to explore the journey with me, please leave number one and watch this video until the end. Interesting things are waiting for you in the video. Janice Dickinson, celebrated for her timeless brunette allure and signature striking red lips, left an indelible mark as one of the top models of the 1970s and 80s. Her stunning presence graced the cover of Vogue an impressive 37 times, a testament to her undeniable influence. However, as time passed, Dickinson found it difficult to embrace the natural aging process. Rather than aging gracefully, she chose to undergo numerous cosmetic surgeries in an attempt to preserve her youthful appearance. He told me, he said, I have, I have some bad news. And I was bracing for like, you know, a hurricane or something and he was... Her ventures into cosmetic enhancements became unmistakable during her appearances on reality TV shows like I'm a Celebrity. Get Me Out of Here, and Celebrity Big Brother. Viewers couldn't help but notice her drastically altered appearance, with critics claiming she looked more like a caricature than her original self. Procedures such as breast augmentations, tummy tucks, and facelifts contributed to her striking transformation. Even the surgeons on Botched expressed concern, labeling her one of their most challenging patients. Yet, in a surprising turn of events, 
Dickinson appeared at a fashion event in West Hollywood years later, showcasing a more natural look. This refreshing appearance hinted at a possible shift in her journey, a return to embracing her true self. If you like this video, please donate me $2. I will reward the staff who made this interesting video. Kelly McGillis, best known for her unforgettable role as Charlie, the civilian instructor in the 1986 classic Top Gun alongside Tom Cruise, became an integral part of 80s pop culture. Her captivating beauty, confidence, and poise on screen left an indelible mark, perfectly embodying the character who mesmerized audiences. However, as the years passed, McGillis's life took a different turn, and the passage of time became evident. I think it's just absolutely fantastic. I think it's the most exciting thing to be able to see him, to put his name in his feet. Now in her 60s, McGillis has been refreshingly candid about the natural changes in her appearance, openly acknowledging weight gain, wrinkles, and the aging process. Despite her embrace of these changes, it seems that Hollywood's often unforgiving beauty standards have not been as accepting. Rumors have circulated that her visibly different appearance may have impacted her career, notably leading to her absence from the Top Gun sequel, much to the disappointment of fans who had hoped to see her reprise her role. This situation is particularly disheartening, given the lasting impression McGillis made in the original film. Her story highlights the ongoing challenges actresses face in an industry that often prioritizes youthful appearances over enduring talent. Renowned for her role as Jamie Buckman in the beloved sitcom Mad About You, Helen Hunt has captured the hearts of global audiences with her down-to-earth charm and relatability. While this breakout role propelled her to fame, Hunt's career is far more than just one iconic show. She has delivered memorable performances in major films like Twister, As Good As It Gets, and Cast Away, solidifying her status as one of Hollywood's most versatile and talented actresses director um, thought she's too young she's not right you know I hadn't done anything like that and yeah. I just wanted it so bad I what sets hunt apart isn't just her impressive acting ability but her genuine no frills approach to life in an industry often obsessed with glitz and glamour she has remained refreshingly simple and authentic embracing a low maintenance lifestyle that only adds to her appeal her approachable demeanor has made her a beacon of warmth, winning her even more admiration from her fans. Beyond her acting accolades, Hunt's most powerful message lies in her advocacy for self-love and body positivity. In a world fixated on unrealistic beauty standards, she offers a counter-narrative that celebrates the human body in all its forms. Nicolette Sheridan transitioned from the world of fashion modeling to acting with a memorable debut in Paper Dolls in 1984, quickly leading to her breakthrough role on Knott's Landing, where she earned critical acclaim and multiple soap opera digest awards. Her portrayal of Edie Britt on Desperate Housewives further cemented her fame, captivating audiences worldwide. Power and money that can take away from less privileged. Over the years, Sheridan's appearance has evolved, with noticeable changes attributed to cosmetic procedures, sparking discussions among fans and critics alike. In a revealing 60 Minutes Australia interview, the 60-year-old actress reflected on her appearance with confidence, championing self-love and embracing the aging process. My face reflects my journey, and I'm owning it, she stated, emphasizing that her look represents her unique life path and experiences. 
Sheridan's unapologetic stance on self-acceptance offers a refreshing perspective, one that transcends Hollywood's often rigid beauty standards. Pamela Anderson emerged as the definitive blonde bombshell of the 90s, captivating the world with her striking beauty and magnetic charm. Her rise to fame was ignited by her debut in Playboy as Playmate of the Month in February 1990, a pivotal moment that launched her into the spotlight. Anderson quickly became known for her radiant blonde hair, flawless figure, and powerful screen presence. I don't know, it was, it was something I had to call 911, and then when, then when he knew that I did that, then he smashed my head into the phone. Just... Her iconic red swimsuit in Baywatch became a symbol of empowerment and allure. Even after leaving Baywatch in 2001, Anderson remained a prominent figure in entertainment, seamlessly transitioning between film, TV, and modeling. Her 2017 appearance in the Baywatch film once again showcased her timeless charm, highlighted by her signature dark eye makeup and bleached hair. Anderson's ageless look at the Cannes Film Festival sparked discussions about whether her youthful appearance is due to genetics, makeup, or discreet cosmetic interventions. Dr. Marino Joffe, a London-based plastic surgeon, weighed in with insights on the potential techniques behind Anderson's seemingly ageless appearance. What's better than starting the day with a delicious cup of tea and watching this fascinating video together? In the 90s, Lil' Kim emerged as a groundbreaking force in American rap, with her debut album Hardcore achieving double platinum status and selling over 6 million copies globally. Beyond her musical achievements, she became a fashion icon, known for her bold and daring looks, including vibrant hairstyles and provocative outfits, which solidified her place in pop culture. However, after reaching the height of fame, Lil' Kim encountered significant challenges. In 2005, she faced a legal battle that resulted in a year-long incarceration. Around this time, her physical transformation also began to draw attention. Starting in 1999, she experimented with blue contact lenses, blonde wigs, and underwent various cosmetic procedures, including noticeable changes to her nose. By the 2013 MTV Music Awards, her evolving appearance had sparked widespread public curiosity. The conversation surrounding her transformation peaked in 2016 when Lil' Kim posted, then later deleted, Instagram selfies revealing a much lighter skin tone and platinum blonde hair. This ignited debates about potential skin bleaching, adding to the ongoing scrutiny of her evolving image. Victoria Principal, renowned for her role as Pamela Barnes Ewing on Dallas, has long been at the center of persistent plastic surgery rumors. Allegations suggest she's undergone procedures like a facelift, brow lift, and rhinoplasty to maintain her youthful appearance well into her 60s. Often described as looking effortlessly refreshed, Principal has repeatedly denied these claims, attributing her timeless look to a strict regimen of diet and exercise. Yet, skepticism persists, especially given her past marriage to plastic surgeon Harry Glassman, which only fueled the speculation. Despite the rumors, Principal has forged a successful path beyond acting. She ventured into entrepreneurship, founding a production company, and earned accolades for her beauty and wellness books, including The Body Principle, The Beauty Principle, and The Diet Principle.
Her expertise in beauty and health, combined with her close ties to the cosmetic surgery world, keeps the conversation alive about whether her appearance is the result of aesthetic enhancements. Daryl Hannah, forever etched in the minds of audiences as the enchanting mermaid Madison in Ron Howard's romantic comedy Splash, has continued to make an impact in Hollywood with a string of memorable roles, from Roxanne and Steel Magnolias to the action-packed. Kill Bill series, Hannah's versatility has captivated fans for decades. However, recent appearances reveal a noticeable shift from her iconic portrayal of Madison. Hannah, and I am here in Washington, D.C. To, to stand in solidarity with the hundreds of them. Hannah has openly expressed her reluctance to undergo cosmetic surgery, once referring to herself as a coward for avoiding elective procedures unless medically necessary. This stance is particularly significant given the relentless beauty standards and pressures within Hollywood. Yet, rumors persist. Some experts have speculated about potential changes in her appearance, suggesting that subtle cosmetic adjustments may have been made, despite Hannah's firm denials of having any work done. In a world where image reigns supreme, Hannah's journey showcases the struggle between maintaining authenticity and facing constant scrutiny, all while remaining a celebrated and enduring figure in the film industry. Tina Yothers, celebrated for her role as Jennifer Keaton on the 80s sitcom Family Ties, has become a standout figure in Hollywood for her fearless acceptance of aging. Known for her exceptional talent and beauty, Yothers has drawn admiration for her candid discussions about the realities of growing older, particularly within the high-pressure entertainment industry. In a revealing 60 Minutes Australia interview, the 51-year-old actress shared her experiences confronting public criticism with poise and confidence. She expressed pride in her appearance, emphasizing that it authentically represents her life's unique journey. My face reflects my journey and I'm owning it, Yothers declared, championing the idea of aging with self-love and confidence. Our generations that we created, not that I'm totally proud of the hairstyle. <laughs> her bold stance has made her an inspirational figure delivering a powerful message not just to Hollywood, but to a broader audience. Yothers encourages everyone to value their natural evolution and honor the personal stories that shape their lives, promoting a culture of self-acceptance and celebration of personal growth. Justine Bateman, known for her role in the 80s sitcom Family Ties, has recently captured attention with her candid views on aging. During a revealing 60 Minutes Australia interview, the 58-year-old actress shared a personal experience that shed light on society's perception of aging. Bateman explained that while doing a simple Google search of her name, she was surprised to see autocomplete suggestions for images of her labeled as old, even though she was only 42 at the time. This unexpected discovery sparked confusion and curiosity, as she had merely been looking for something from her earlier days of fame. Despite the online commentary about her appearance, Bateman wasn't shaken. Upon viewing the images, she didn't see what all the fuss was about and expressed her surprise at the reactions. Rather than being upset by the public scrutiny, Bateman embraced a philosophy of self-love, finding no reason for concern over her natural aging process. With confidence and a defiant attitude toward societal expectations, Bateman proudly stated, I think I look great. My face reflects my journey, and I'm owning it.
Melanie Griffith's entry into Hollywood began in the 70s with commercials and modeling, quickly leading to notable film roles in Night Moves, The Drowning Pool, and The Garden. However, her career took a major leap forward in 1988 when she portrayed Tess McGill in Working Girl, a role that earned her an Academy Award nomination and firmly established her as a star in the industry. As the years passed, Griffith's evolving appearance has become a topic of widespread discussion. The noticeable changes in her look from the 80s and 90s to today have drawn attention, especially considering her candidness about undergoing cosmetic surgeries. Beyond her physical transformation, Griffith's life has been marked by daring experiences, including a frightening encounter with a lion during her early acting days, adding another layer to her already fascinating career. A different bond? Not really. I mean, she, she's very headstrong and she's very... Griffith's evolution highlights the intense pressures of a life in the public eye. Her decades in Hollywood reflect the challenges of fame, beauty standards, and personal growth, showing how celebrity life can lead to profound transformations. Henry Thomas became a highly successful actor after making his big screen debut as a child star at just 10 years old in the 1980s. He earned acclaim and awards from the British Academy of Film and Television Arts. Despite his success, young Thomas worried about the dangers of stardom and longed for a typical youth. The demands of fame led him to take a break from acting, but his love for the craft eventually brought him back. His return to acting allowed him to explore a variety of roles and showcase his talent in new ways. In his later years, Thomas has appeared in films such as Dear John, Gangs of New York, Doctor Sleep, and The Haunting of Bly Manor. However, at 50 years old, he no longer resembles the kid from E.T. the Extraterrestrial. His face and body reveal the effects of aging, but his dedication to his craft remains strong. At 68 years old, Mel Gibson isn't Hollywood's most productive actor. Known for shocking and entertaining audiences, he moved from acting in Lethal Weapon and Mad Max to directing films like The Passion of the Christ. Despite his success, he has faced significant challenges in his career. Gibson's career has been tainted by numerous controversies. He has faced accusations of anti-Semitic tirades, homophobic insults, and sexist opinions. Multiple arrests and DUI charges have led to public apologies and significantly damaged his reputation. Recently, Gibson's career has cooled, and his unkempt appearance hasn't helped. Once a sought-after actor and director, his character flaws were exposed by the media, leading to his agency dropping him. He is now infamous for his sexist and racist views. Rod Stewart, the iconic musician, is beloved by many fans for his charming personality and enduring talent. Known for his relationships with Britt Eklund and Rachel Hunter, he has a penchant for blondes. Stewart's eight children come from five different mothers, reflecting his unconventional views on family and marriage. Despite his charisma, the 76-year-old has faced significant health challenges. Diagnosed with thyroid cancer in 2003, he had to relearn how to sing through daily practice. Stewart recounted how he initially struggled to sing Maggie May, but eventually regained his vocal strength through persistence.
In Twanawak 17, he battled prostate cancer, but continued to record and perform music regularly. Stewart's perseverance and devotion to his work remain strong, even as he shows signs of aging. Brigitte Bardot excels in many areas. She captivated audiences with her stunning good looks while performing as a singer, actress, and model. During the 1950s and 1960s, Brigitte became a sex idol. She had a successful acting career, appearing in 16 critically acclaimed comedies while also lending her talents to 47 other films and penning more than 60 songs. The sex symbolism that once characterized Bardot has greatly faded, and her aging appearance at 81 years old reflects this. The change is obvious and she no longer exudes the same glow as when she was younger. Although she often claims to be happy, her face bears the scars of a wild party lifestyle. Despite the visible signs of aging, Bardot remains a significant cultural icon, known for her contributions to entertainment and her later work in animal rights activism. Nick Nolta was once the suburban housewife's darling, known for his distinctive golden boy look and feathered bangs. However, to everyone's surprise, Nolta no longer possesses his previous magnetism. Now his rough and crusty appearance, marked by drug use and two mug shots, tells a different story. Nolte began his career as a model, which might be hard to imagine given his current appearance. During the height of his acting career, he was the object of desire for many due to his weathered golden boy looks. However, years of hard living, drugs, and a couple of DUIs have taken their toll, making him appear much older than his years. Despite this, Nolte's rough disposition and unkempt appearance suit roles of inebriated sailors and crusty curmudgeons. His transformation shows the toll of a tumultuous lifestyle on even the most charming stars. One actor who is known for his timeless good looks is Paul Rudd. He is often praised for not seeming to age at all. His youthful appearance and charm surprise many and continue to appeal to audiences of all ages. Paul Rudd's career began in the early 1990s, and he quickly became a beloved figure in both film and television. From his breakout role in Clueless to his performances in Friends, Anchorman, and the Ant-Man series, Rudd's versatility and charisma have kept him in the spotlight. Despite the passage of time, Rudd's appearance remains remarkably youthful, this enduring quality, combined with his talent and likability, has made him a favorite in Hollywood. Whether in comedic or dramatic roles, Paul Rudd's appeal transcends generations, solidifying his status as a timeless icon. Johnny Depp dominated Hollywood in the 80s, 90s, and 2000s. His breakout roles as an adolescent idol in 21 Jump Street and Cry Baby launched his acting career. Admired for his rugged good looks and charisma, Depp smoothly transitioned into a multi-talented and esteemed actor. However, as Depp has aged, his public persona has changed significantly. Since captivating audiences in Chocolate, Sleepy Hollow, and The Secret Window, he has been plagued by rumors of substance misuse and a public tense split with his ex-wife, Amber Heard. Depp is no longer the same dashing hero of yesteryear, with his recent struggles evident in his discolored teeth and considerable weight changes.
Despite these challenges, Depp's status as a captivating personality in Hollywood and a dynamic performer remains intact. Mr. T, born Lawrence Turo, had an indelible effect on the 1980s film industry. However, his journey took an unexpected turn when he was diagnosed with cutaneous T-cell lymphoma, a form of cancer. Mr. T tackled the situation with his trademark wit, even joking about the illness being named after him during an interview. In 2005, Mr. T experienced a profound change in his life that extended beyond his health issues. Deeply affected by the destruction wrought by Hurricane Katrina, he aided in the cleanup. He decided it was inappropriate to wear his famous gold jewelry among those who had lost everything, so he took it off, reflecting his empathy for the victims. Even without his signature gold, Mr. T's influence endures in the memories of his loyal followers. However, the effects of aging and health struggles are visible. Corey Feldman is a name etched in the memories of every 80s kid. He made a lasting impact through his roles in iconic films like Stand By Me, The Goonies, and The Lost Boys. As a teenager, Corey's good looks attracted a significant following. However, seeing Corey today might be surprising for those who remember him as a teenage heartthrob. He hasn't aged well. The actor has undergone a substantial transformation, particularly since facing challenges and falling out with Hollywood. His current appearance reflects the toll of a challenging period in the limelight. In the aftermath of his experiences, Corey has shifted his focus towards denouncing child sexual abuse within the entertainment industry. This commitment to advocacy has taken a toll, leaving him looking tired and washed out. Keith Richards, the iconic guitarist, looks much older than his actual age. His appearance, more like a 90-year-old grandpa than a man in his 70s, reflects years of drug use, drink, and tobacco. If he had resisted these temptations, his aging might have been less severe. Richard's extensive drug abuse in the 1960s and 1970s led to multiple busts and significant health issues. His face shows the toll of substance use, making him look more frightening than merely old. Despite these challenges, Richard's remains a talented musician, surprising many given his rough past. Richards also openly dislikes the evolving musical styles of rap and hip-hop, revealing his age and traditional perspective. His views on modern music show a disconnect from current trends, yet his contributions to music remain undeniable. Once upon a time, Frankie Muniz was the star of the smash hit Malcolm in the Middle captivating viewers with his infectious smile and captivating blue eyes. He won praise for his exceptional acting skills, even earning an Emmy as a child star. However, Muniz will always be linked to Malcolm due to the show's lasting impact. Struggling with this association, Muniz decided to leave Hollywood. He shifted gears and now makes a living as a motorcyclist and percussionist. His appearance has changed dramatically over the years, experimenting with wild hairstyles that may not suit him. Aging doesn't seem to be his thing. In 
In addition to his changing looks, Muniz faces serious health issues. He struggles with memory loss from multiple concussions and seizures, making it hard to remember his time filming Malcolm in the Middle. Meg Ryan is well known and beloved by viewers of romantic comedies. Her acting career began in the mid-1980s, and she quickly became a doe-eyed blonde icon. Despite her success, Ryan decided to retire from the spotlight at the peak of her career due to burnout and loneliness. Recently, Ryan has been relatively quiet, but stole the spotlight at the 2016 Tony Awards with a dramatically altered look. Despite the glitz of her short blonde hair, her complexion appeared unusually taut and slightly bloated, sparking speculation about potential plastic surgery. Although Ryan has denied these claims, some specialists suggest procedures like lip fillers, eyelid reconstruction, and facelifts. Her appearance at the 2019 Paris Fashion Week suggests cosmetic procedures cannot halt aging and might detract from natural beauty. Jennifer Grey captured the hearts of Americans with her iconic role as Baby in the 1987 blockbuster Dirty Dancing, known for her striking nose and curly hair. However, her journey took a surprising turn when she decided to undergo a small nose operation to appear younger. The surgery altered her appearance so much that even the paparazzi couldn't recognize her. Initially intended to refine her nose, the procedure resulted in a noticeable change. Discovering a cartilage issue beneath the surface, Gray's initial satisfaction turned into concern, prompting a second surgery that significantly impacted her career. Post-operation, Gray struggled to land acting roles. She felt guilty for removing her distinctive nose, highlighting the close connection between one's appearance and professional identity. Wrinkles and tired eyes show that the once young Luke Skywalker has aged quickly. Renowned actor Mark Hamill reprised his role as an older Luke Skywalker in the new Star Wars trilogy, including Rogue One and The Last Jedi, capitalizing on the natural effects of aging and adding depth to the character. Even in a distant galaxy, the passage of time can be felt. Hamill's portrayal of an older Luke Skywalker brings realism and continuity to the series, showing that even heroes age and evolve. This aging process adds authenticity to the beloved character, making him more relatable to fans. George Lucas showed foresight by creating a relatable character, allowing young people to grow with Luke Skywalker over the decades. This has kept him beloved across generations, ensuring Luke Skywalker remains an iconic figure in the Star Wars universe. Haley Joel Osment seemed to be in every major film in the 90s. He had starring roles in cult classics such as The Sixth Sense, Pay It Forward, and AI, and he had a cameo in Forrest Gump. Osment's charming attitude as a young actor who could pull off a bowl cut with ease was definitely a driving force behind his success. However, his acting career took a nosedive as he entered puberty and adulthood, a common fate for child stars. The once famous kid star seemed to vanish from view, and his admirers noticed significant physical changes as he grew older.
Osmond experimented with a thick beard and gained weight, which altered his appearance. Osmond also faced emotional troubles, including drinking and drug addiction. Like many young performers, he blamed his advancing years for the lack of acting roles. Janet Jackson in the 1980s, she was at the pinnacle of her career. However, she has changed dramatically in recent years, becoming nearly unrecognizable due to weight fluctuations. Despite the changes, the characteristic Jackson traits are still present, and Janet has matured into a slightly more refined version of herself. With her extensive background in the music industry, Janet Jackson has grown increasingly detached from public perception. For the past several years, she and her wealthy Saudi husband have made Saudi Arabia their home. Janet has been very successful financially, earning nearly a billion dollars from her songs, books, albums, and tours. Still, she hasn't had it easy with her weight issues and juggling numerous responsibilities. Compared to the seductive singer of the 80s, she is very different now. At the tender age of four, Macaulay Culkin began his meteoric rise to fame on television. His breakout roles in 1990's Home Alone and its 1992 sequel made him the biggest child celebrity since Shirley Temple. However, where is Macaulay Culkin now? In 1994, Macaulay stepped away from acting, seeking a more average life, and filing a $17 million lawsuit against his parents for legal emancipation. Photos in 2012 shocked the public with his frail build and homeless chic vibe, despite few TV appearances in the early 2000s. Macaulay denied substance misuse rumors, admitting he played with fire but never sought rehab. He co-founded the comedic rock band Pizza Underground in 2013, which disbanded in 2014. Recently, he appears healthier and happier, moving in a positive direction despite the passage of time. Donatella Versace exemplifies the challenges that can arise when combining the effects of aging with extensive plastic surgery. The famous Italian fashion designer got her start helping her brother Giovanni found the Versace label. She is now VP of the Versace Group. Through her celebrity connections and innovative designs, she gradually gained recognition for increasing Versace's global influence, making it a household name worldwide. As the Versace brand flourished, a dramatic change occurred in Donatella's appearance. She decided to undergo plastic surgery to combat the effects of aging, aiming to maintain a youthful look. Unfortunately, it seemed to have the opposite effect of what was intended, altering her appearance significantly. Despite these challenges, Donatella remains a powerful figure in the fashion industry. Sarah Jessica Parker was a sensation in Sex and the City as Carrie Bradshaw. Sarah had a long history on Broadway, known for her iconic role in Annie before stepping into Bradshaw's shoes, a character celebrated for her forward-thinking style. Parker transitioned from child stardom to film roles in the early 2000s, featuring in movies such as Footloose and Hocus Pocus. In 1998, when Sex and the City began filming, she still had the innocent charisma of an actress in her rookie year.
Over time, Parker has faced criticism for appearing younger than her actual age. Media often highlights her thin figure and fine lines, which she attributes to emotional turmoil in her life, including alleged adultery between her and husband Matthew Broderick. Maxim even labeled her the world's least attractive lady, a title with its own set of pros and cons. Thank you for watching my video. There are many other interesting things in the next videos. Please look forward to it. Thank you and goodbye.